let's talk about some amazing benefits of simply taking a hot bath. And I'm talking about temperature 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degree Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. The biggest benefit is anxiety and depression. There's several studies that I'm going to put down below that uh, back this up. But if you have anxiety or depression, this simple thing can greatly help you. And that is because, number one, it's going to lower cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. Less stress, less anxiety. Number two, higher levels of serotonin. Serotonin is the happy hormone. It's a hormone that helps you feel calm. It gives you a sense of well-being. And if you have that, you're going to have less anxiety and definitely less depression. Number three, it's going to improve your sleep. You're going to get a much deeper sleep. So what happens is this heat actually relaxes you. So when you sleep, your melatonin actually causes your body to get a little cooler. And so by raising the heat before you go to bed, you get a rebound effect or a resetting effect, and you actually become a little colder. And your body will get a much better sleep when it's on the colder side. Try to sleep when you have a hot flash. doesn't work, right? All right, number four, your muscles are going to feel very relaxed. One thing that I recommend is taking Epsom salts, magnesium to your bath and lemon balm oil, which is very, very relaxing and calming. People take this as a tea or a supplement. It will help you decrease chronic pain and stiffness. Now, one contraindication would be if you have acute pain, let's say you're in a recent injury and you have swelling, taking a hot bath might not be the best thing to do. You want to put cold on that injury, like a cold pack. Ice would be best. But for chronic pain, stiffness, great. You're going to have more flexibility. Number six, it can help you lower your blood pressure because it increases nitric oxide, which actually is a vasodilator. Now, on the flip side, if you have heart pain like angina pain or chest pain, not a good idea to take a hot bath. And one more contraindication, if you, if you get lightheaded easily and you take this hot bath, right? And let's say, for example, the heat increases all the circulation, you have blood in the muscles, and then you stand up and you get really dizzy because you don't, your body's not adapting to that that well. So you don't, you don't want to be fainting and then injure yourself. Number seven, it has the ability to potentially help stabilize your insulin levels. I found a, some interesting research on that. I put a link down below. And number eight, it can enhance your immunity because you're in inducing a fever. If you have an infection, a viral infection, or even a bacterial infection, and you keep your body really, really warm to the point where you're sweating or you take a hot bath, you're going to help kill off pathogens. So inducing a fever is a very good thing. And then you climb in bed and you wear a lot of clothes and you just sweat. All right, there you have it. The eight benefits of a hot bath, a decrease in anxiety and depression being number one. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.